everyone. Today I will show you how to apply for a license on the website. First, let's learn about several concepts relevant to licenses. 1. A license is an agreement that authorizes the range and period of using the purchased product. The customer can use the license to obtain the services committed by the supplier. 2. The license file and license authorization certificate are carriers of the license. The license file controls the capacity, functions, and validity period of a software version. The license authorization certificate functions as the credentials of license authorization. 3. The ESN and LSN uniquely identify a switch and a license file, respectively. ESN and LSN are similar to RID cards. 4. The revocation code is a character string obtained when you run a command on a switch to revoke a license. When a switch's ESN changes, you need to use the revocation code to apply for a new license on the license website. Depending on purpose, licenses are classified into commercial licenses and non-commercial licenses. A. Commercial licenses are purchased according to contracts and are permanently valid. All purchase licenses belong to commercial licenses. B. Non-commercial licenses are generally for tests and trial use. The validity period is strictly restricted. Licenses have four types of target users. Guest, EBG GTS, EBG TAC, and Channel Partner. The users have different rights. A. A guest user can only use an authorization password to download and activate a commercial license and use the revocation code to apply for a new license when the ESN changes. B. An EBG GTS user can activate, download, and maintain a commercial or temporary license and use the revocation code to apply for a new license when the ESN changes. C. An EBG TAC user has the same rights as an EBG GTS user. D. A channel partner user can only download, activate, and maintain a commercial license purchased according to a contract and apply for a temporary license. This video includes the following aspects. Common license operations, license application, rights application, and license revocation code rollback. First, I will demonstrate how to perform common license operations on a switch. Obtain the switch's ESN. Load the license file. The license file is successfully loaded. Check the license status. The license used in this example is a license for test. Therefore, the license is in demo state. The license validity period is also displayed. Revoke the license and obtain the revocation code. The revocation code is displayed. We can also run the display license revoke ticket command to check the revocation code. Next, let's see how to apply for a license on the website. Visit the license application platform ESDP. We can directly enter http colon forward slash forward slash app dot huawei dot com forward slash isdp in the address bar of the browser to visit esdp. Alternatively, log in to the support site http colon forward slash forward slash support dot huawei dot com forward slash enterprise and click get license to visit esdp. As mentioned above, Licenses are classified into commercial licenses and non-commercial licenses. Let's see how to apply for a commercial license. Click License Activation. Select the Activation Mode. Activation modes are categorized as Entitlement Activation and Password Activation. EBG GTS and Channel Partner users can only use the Entitlement Activation Mode. Guest users can only use the Password Activation Mode. EBG TAC users can use both activation modes. Take the password activation mode as an example. Click Password Activation. Enter the activation password. We can find the activation password in the license authorization certificate. To activate multiple license files in a batch, click Add to add more licenses. After entering the password, enter the ESN and confirm the activation. Then we can download formal commercial licenses. What is the method of applying for temporary licenses? Choose Enterprise Temporary License in the navigation tree on the left. Different types of temporary licenses are displayed. 
we can apply for different types of licenses based on actual requirements. Take new characteristic on trial as an example. Let's see how to apply for a temporary license. Read the notice carefully and select I have read and agree to the above. Click Next. Set product name, version, ESN, and customer. The system displays licenses for all new features. Select the required feature for trial use and click Confirm and Generate License to download the license file. If a user wants to improve the license application right, for example, a Huawei engineer wants to apply for the rights of an EBGTAC, EBGGTS, or channel partner user, what is the method of applying for the license website right? What is the method of applying for the guest right? First, let's see the method for a Huawei engineer to apply for the rights of an EBGTAC or EBGGTS user. On the ESTP homepage, choose Permission Application in the Navigation tree on the left. Set Add Users, Group, Validity Period, and other parameters and click Approve. To apply for the license website right, a channel partner user needs to associate with the home organization in the eChannel system and contact the home organization's administrator to apply for the license website right. To associate with the home organization, choose My Workspace, Permissions, click Enter, choose Associate with My Company, and click Join. To obtain the guest right, register on the website to become a common user. The method is not mentioned here. That's all about today's course. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter All About Switches site Huawei.com in the search field of Google. And click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.